I am beautiful. I am perfect. There is no limits to life. There's going to be vultures everywhere. People are going to be making fun of each other no matter what. When people say mean things about me, I just like brush it behind me. You're like, it's not a big deal. A lot of people ask me if I was blessed to have hands, would I want to have it that way? If you asked me that 10 years ago, the answer would probably be yes. I'll take any, any other body besides mine. But if you ask me now, the answer would be no. I'm happy with myself. I wouldn't change who I am, what I look like, or anything else. I think I'm just content with who I am. Being born into a family that didn't want me, you know, based off the fact that I didn't have hands, they gave me up and um, put me in an orphanage. Being adopted has opened so many variety of opportunities. I think it's the greatest blessing in my life, personally. My dad, he is a good person, he's a good man. And I have high appreciation for him, great respect. He's always been, he's always been very dependable, very hardworking for our family. And financially, that's a huge thing, you know, because I don't think my mom would be able to adopt 16 kids. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> But, um, my dad just passed away, and it's been hard. I kept thinking to myself, um, there's got to be something more than that, you know? Like, am I ever going to see him again? And I think I am. He was a good man, and he was really strong in the church. Father doesn't give us trials to destroy us. He gives it to us to build our character. I still have that one-on-one -on -one relationship with my Heavenly Father. Even if I feel completely alone, I shouldn't feel alone because He is a friend. He is my best friend. And He will always be my best friend. We're able to accomplish anything we want in this world. Go to a mirror and say, I am beautiful, I am perfect, and then keep telling yourself that there is no limits, that anything is possible. It is really just up to you, and go for it. <laughs>